I developed an interest in science probably formally in high school, but even before that, my family is a very nerdy family, so they always encouraged us to do science experiments, build things, take things apart. I attended Columbia University. I enjoyed the process of research, and that's really when I got into it. I found my way to Princeton in a pretty conventional route in terms of as a senior I applied to a variety of graduate schools and visited them. My project, generally speaking, is about fluorination, so it's how to make carbon-fluorine bonds. I'm trying to invent reactions that are tools for making useful molecules. I also wanted to be in an environment where the chemistry I did was sort of helped build a foundation for the lab. I wanted to have a lasting impact on what we did. It seemed like the best opportunity to do that was in a new lab. The basic unit, I guess, is the lab group, so you all work for a given professor. Abby told her first class of students as sort of motivation that if we got results, we could go to Pacific Chem, which is a conference in Hawaii every five years. So that was very motivating. <laughs> You work in the same area, but everyone has generally their own project. So you have weekly group meetings um, in which people generally present their research in a sort of a formal talk or discuss a paper in the literature or present mechanism problems for people to solve. At some point, definitely, the conversation changes. You take control of your project and you're the one coming up with new ideas. Specifically, I needed to do a lot of NMR experiments that other universities with fewer NMRs or with um, sort of less advanced NMRs might have been difficult. Most of our instruments are automated, which is nice. So it has like a little robotic arm that injects your sample, so you don't have to stand there and inject sample after sample. It's very different from undergraduate in terms of the pace and the direction. Um, and the responsibility. You have to love it because there will be a lot of days when things don't work or, you know, things break and <laughs> things just aren't working for reasons you can't figure out. Have experience failing. That's the most important thing. I would actually say my undergraduate research, almost nothing worked and that was very good preparation for graduate school. <laughs> The resources aren't going to be the limiting factor in your research. The limitation is you and the chemistry. <laughs>